Hi, this is Deepak Chagaji. I am your guide for this uh, current session. So this session is about how to install PHP packages in Windows for beginners and it will be totally step by step process. That means if you don't know about PHP packages or you have not started yet about uh, PHP development and that means you are willing to start PHP development and also you have already started but you don't have any idea uh, that much. So it will, this session will help you, okay? So, uh, so basically what is the step we're gonna follow here? Let us write it first so that it will be easy uh, for all of us to understand what is the objective of this session, okay? So step, uh, step one will be we are gonna download like install uh, PHP packages. So that is our main goal here. And uh, step two, which is the main uh, high level step two, that will be uh, checking. The, that means the running thing, the how it is, uh, how you are running and checking. So it can be running and checking. And step three is uninstalling. So basically, we will be uninstalling also so how to uninstall. Like it can happen like you have downloaded or you have installed wrong packages or also it is not working at the moment you are going to uninstall it and you also install new thing okay so let us uh, tell you uh, some information about the php package what does it mean by that so php packages means uh, like it is basically uh, for php development php development means it can be script oriented it can be web oriented or it can be like a database oriented okay it depends on your requir requirement what is what it is actually three kind of things is that one is cron based which is a scripting scripting like it is generating automatically all the analytics or those kind of stuff one is for dedicated website where you can see in website uh, screens are available and also it can be used for like api which is uh, talking to your different different servers and it is giving you different different response it depends so uh, it depends on your requirement or it is it depends on your target or objective, whatever it is. So now, so basically, our main objective is to install these PHP packages for the Windows. Windows means here, Windows machine. We are referring to the Windows machines. That means uh, it can be your laptop, it can be your desktop, where you are using uh, in your home, okay? So, so let us think. So basically for this thing in the market, uh, there are a lot of open source available already. Uh, one thing is here ZAMP XAMPP, and one thing is the, uh, let me write it down also for better understanding. And the one is WAMP. Yeah, but what is the difference between ZAMP and One Piece? ZAMP will be available for all. <coughs> sorry, all the ways, and WAMP will be dedicated to Windows only. That's why it is called as WAMP WAMP Windows Apache. MySQL and PHP. And here it is X for course platform, A for Apache, M for MySQL or MariaDB uh, uh, database, and P for PHP and P for Perl. There is the objective here. Okay. So let us search. So basically, for this session, we are going by ZAP because it will be more helpful. You know, it is not only for Windows, it can be used for other devices, other OS version also. So okay. So let us go to the Google. So how should we do? First, we we'll just write XAMPP in the Google search there. Automatically, it will come as a file because it is having high uh, SEO thing. So we just click on here. After that, you just you can see that uh, here all the OS version is already available. That is for Windows, it is for Linux, it is and for uh, Mac OS, it is. So whatever, uh, whichever it is uh, your OS version is, you can do. But it is mainly objective for the windows also we are going to download this thing okay so now already since i have already downloaded it in my own folder i'm just clicking on that so once you are downloading it the so click on the application and it will give you one pop-up like do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device uh, zam windows x64 because my machine is x64 uh, verified publish it is like a website is vmware inc and file origin hard drive or something it is the same so it is a standard uh, pop-up where you need to do yes if you don't do yes then uh, you cannot proceed okay so we have to do yes here so click on yes after that some defined uh, pop-up window will be coming where it will say that see it is you can see bitnami right so basically bitnami is the 
uh, organization who is maintaining this open source project. Okay. So here also you can see late like, seems you have an antivirus running. It's uh, in some cases this may slow down or interfere the installation of the software. Please uh, visit the following link to learn more about this. Uh, so basically, that like uh, means like there will be some standards, some defined uh, antivirus will be available in the market which can cause uh, that uh, it will interrupt your installation because it can hamper your different different location it can happen i don't know uh, uh, i did not encounter that kind of scenario at the moment but we need to do yes also here if you don't do yes then it can we cannot proceed again also it is uh, this is uh, like a warning we can ignore actually so let's ignore it now it is coming the setup window uh, for the beta you can see is a company name is bitnami right so welcome to a uh, zam setup wizard so click on just next and here in the left uh, side, you can see whatever we want to install. Those menus are already available here. Okay, so you can select and select also. But for our installation purpose, already we are we have talked about we need Apache MySQL. Okay, so basically other stuffs not required for us. <coughs> Power also not required. So PHP main required. Fix email and also uh, Webalizer not required. So basically Apache is our server where. PHP will be running. MySQL is our database server where uh, our database will be running. PHP is our language, which is a programming language which are, we are going to use here. And PHP admin is like PHP admin uh, UI thing which uh, is using MySQL database. So you can see in the UI level. Okay? So we'll learn in the, our next coming sessions how to access those kind of things and how to ma manage those things. Okay? So yeah, click on the next thing after selecting all the stuff. Here is the selection of your location path where like where all the application will be installed so you can go by the default thing or if you see like if you think like your uh default path will not be having that much space or that it will uh, not safe to save there so you can select different uh, location also by clicking on here so it will give you a pop-up thing and window where you can select okay so you can cancel because i'm going by the default one so click on now next. After also here it is providing you to select your language, but basically not all languages are available in this application. You can select English and also these things. Okay, so basically we are preferring English only. So for the programming things, it will be better to go by English language only. So click on now next. Now it is saying like basically uh, what did you do? This string. This string means like if you want to learn uh, other servers, the how uh other applications are associated with this jam thing so how you can install those kind of stuff so basically if you want to know more now so then you can click then it will automatically uh in automatically open a new window along with uh, this installation or not because not triggered for our thing so you can click on uh, unselect for this so click on next after that it is like it is ready so all the setups prerequisite whatever the prerequisite was there for this installation already you have selected all the things what which you want to install the basically what we have done here so far we have selected which we want to install we have selected where we want to install okay and also the terms of condition we have selected and also along with that we have selected the english language that is language right now everything is ready now we are ready for installation now click on the next button so that means now it is trying to install all the packages in your device. That's what it is saying. <clears throat> so now we need to wait for uh, one to two minutes. It also depends which processor and how many RAMs you are using, which kind of uh, hard, disks, hard disks you are using. Like I am using uh, <clears throat> SSD here, so it will be going to live fast for me. But if it is going to slow for you, please don't worry. Just wait for some time. It can take up to. 15 minutes depends on your whichever uh, device configuration you are using okay so just uh, let's wait for one to two minutes here it's almost done if sometimes it is showing not responding please don't worry because it's the internal thing it is showing now it is saying like completing all the completion is done. So basically, as per our steps, what we have written here, like we have already done that installation package. All 
completely done, right? <coughs> Sorry. Now running and checking. Running and checking means we need to run that how it is uh, it is actually running or not. So we need to click on the finish. So automatically you see what it is running. So you can see here. See, this is the XAMPP uh, control panel. XAMPP control panel means where you can see that you have installed Apache, you have installed MySQL, right? So basically here we need to run, start it, start and start. So, and also whenever the, for the first time, it will uh, ask us to give the permission, allow access. So you just give the permission straight away. Don't worry anything. There will be nothing, nothing will be hampered, okay? So now you can see if it is successfully run, then it, you will see PID number. These are process ID numbers, okay? And also why it is two? Because it is using two ports. So by default, Apache server is in two ports. <laughs> one is HTTP port, one is HTTPS port. HTTP port is by default is 80. HTTPS by default port is 443. That's a, for both of them, it is having two PID numbers. For the MySQL, it is not the PID is a more the MySQL by default port is 3306. Okay, so basically we see like, yes, it is working. It is like that. So if you want to see the why it is running and how it is running. So basically uh, our second object was running. So I can see it is running, but how? We need to check the, yes, it is running. So for the servers, if you want to see it is running, then you need to type localhost. Just type localhost. And you will see if it is coming, that means your objective is done. We have successfully installed and it is running perfectly, right? And also the MySQL thing also it is running. But uh, for the MySQL, uh, if you click on this admin thing, then you will see here automatically. Yeah, it, it is running. It is a basic admin running. So basically everything is running perfectly here, right? So let us uh, close the window because our last of it. So running is done, checking is done. Next part will be our uninstallation. Okay, uninstalling. So how to inst uninstall? So for the uninstalling, we need to stop it first. So stop it, stop the server. So you can see no PID is there, no ports are uh, there. So already it is done. And it's simple like, is a go to your control panel. Go to your control panel. Go to your uh, programs, that is an uninstaller program. And search your application. That is obviously this would be on a ZAM. Search it, select it, and it's kind of pop-up will be coming, the uninstall or change an application, you just click on yes, then it will be in uninstalled. So basically I'm not doing it because we are gonna uh, use it for the next session. So, okay. So let's meet uh, next session. And if you like it, please share and like this video, okay? Thanks.